Hello guys. In this video we are going to talk about isomerism in arenes. Let's assume that we were given a compound whose formula is C8H. First of all, you need to be sure that this compound is an arene or not. Remember that the general formula of arenes was Cn H2n minus 6. And number of carbons in here is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Minus 6, it is 10. So this compound is an aromatic hydrocarbon. Now let's try to make some isomers for this compound. As you remember, the basic compound of aromatic hydrocarbons was benzene. It was this one with a circle in the middle. This is C6H6. It does have 6 carbon atoms. But in here, in our compound, we need to have 8 of them, 8 carbon atoms. So it means that in addition to these 6 carbon atoms in here, we need to have 2 carbon atoms. What can I do then? Let's try making some isomers. So I can have a 6 carbon atom chain like this, a benzene ring. And as I said, we need to have 2 more carbons. So you can have these 2 carbon atoms as a branching in here, CH3, CH3. Now, you do have 8 carbon atoms. What about hydrogens? Here I have 1, 2, 3, 4 hydrogens. No more hydrogen here anymore. No more hydrogen in here anymore. So, 4 carbon atoms in here, plus 3, 7, plus 3, 10. Okay. We can make different isomers simply by changing the location of the methyl groups. So I'm keeping this here, CH3, and I can have the second methyl group in here. Another possibility is keeping this one here and changing the location of the second one here. And finally, you can have a benzene ring again, but two carbon atoms you can put together. So not a methyl group, but an ethyl group. Here you have four different isomers for this compound. If you wish, you can try doing some isomers for C9H12. Good luck.